Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic fans. I got a quick video here today. I'm going to talk about, um, if you know anything about my Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League, which I am a member of, um, <clears throat> you know that, or maybe I didn't explain it well enough in the past, but anyway, I will tell you right now that uh, what we do is we cut down to 20 players by um 12 a.m on january 1st and then we have just a 20-man roster so it doesn't matter if you had 40 if you had 36 guys if you had 45 guys you have to cut to 20. and we all cut to 20 and then we have a 20 round draft in february after the cards and the game come out and in this video, I'm going to go over my 20-man roster that I have cut to prior to that draft. Just to show you guys uh, what we got, we're going to take a look at the website uh, for our league. And, um, and then we're going to, of course, really, they don't have the new cards and the new player statistics in there. So that's just going to be a quick look. And then we're going to, uh, and then we're going to look at, I do a spreadsheet every year. I'm in charge of the spreadsheet where we track who everybody has cut to and um, what free agent year they are, because our league does have free agency. Um, if you are a free, that means that you're a, uh, that you're free agent eligible. And we're allowed to keep three guys that are free agent eligible. And uh, and then after that, the years are right next to their name, what year that they're free agents, which I'm not doing too badly. I don't, I think I don't have a free agent maybe until 2025. Um, yeah, probably not until 2025, um, except for the three agents that I'm keeping. And you'll see who those are uh, in just a moment. All right, so here we go. We are now looking at our league website on Strat Draft. And the important thing to remember here is, or to see here, is that in the first three rounds, because I don't have a fourth round pick, I traded it. Um, but in the first three rounds, I have four picks. I have the original Hawaii Naturals pick because I traded that to him in a swap where we did a swap of players and I upgraded my relief pitching. We, uh, and then we have our original, where is it? Right here, original number four. We had the fourth pick in the draft. And so we have our fourth pick and you can see we also have, or uh, we have our the fourth pick in round two. We have the fourth pick in round three. And we also have the Adams family pick in round three at number 16. So we got four picks in the top uh, three rounds, which makes up for the fact that I don't have um a fourth round pick and if we go to draft views and we go to it's easier to look at it through my competition because it lists the number of picks we go to the providence grays and we submit that and we can see that i have 20 picks and so these are where all of my picks are the one in round one the one in round two the two in round three and then six two in the seventh the 8th, 9th, and then 2 in the 10th, the 11th, the 13th, we skip the 12th, we don't have 1 in the 12th, then the 14th, then 2 in the 16th, 1 in the 17th, 2 in the 18th, and 1 in the 19th. So those are the picks that I have to work with, 20 picks. I like to try to stay around 20. I mean, we can have less than that through trades. We can have 18 picks or 17 picks, um, but I don't like to do that, especially before the cut downs. Now we can trade between the cut down period, which is January 1st. And when we draft, if you do that though, and in a lot of ways, it's easier to do that, or it's better to trade during that period. Because if you do that, um, you don't have to cut down to make room like before, um, you know, before the cut downs, if you have like, uh, 40 guys, let's say, and you trade with somebody and you get a 41st guy or you gain, you end up gaining one guy, one body, you still have to cut to 20 by January 1st. So that one guy somehow has to fit within your 20. 
but after January 1st, if I make a trade and I gain a body in the trade, I don't have to cut to back to 20. I can just keep them. So I could go into the draft with, let's say, 22 guys. Um, that's possible. So in a lot of ways, it's better to trade after the cut down period than before. Um, but before, I mean, some guys like other players that people are cutting and you wouldn't be able to get them because once they're cut the cut players you can't bring them back there's no way to bring them back you only have access to your 20 guys so if i trade with somebody and he gives me two bodies off his roster that's two guys from his 20 man um cut down and he can't go and replace them with two guys that he had previously cut he's just got 18 guys now Which is fine if you, um, like, say, if you get two picks in return, then you're still going to have the same net number of guys uh, on your roster. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you that. Um, go back to the home. So anyway, that's the draft. That's how the draft is going to shape up and kind of how it's going to look for me. And then we will uh, look at my 20 cut down. All right, and so now we're back, and uh, we have the 20-man cutdown uh, roster for me coming into the draft, which, again, as I say, will be in February after the game and the set come out. So we're going to have uh, – now, uh, there's one other category of guy I wanted to mention, and that is a 2099, what we call a 2099. That's a guy who doesn't have a free agent date at all. Um he, but, and, and the difference between them and a free agent is that he's not really a free agent. Um, like I could have, and, and the difference is that I could have like five of those guys if they existed and I could get five of them. I could keep all five because they, they're not free agents. They never will become a free agent. And that's how Grenke is. He is a non free agent. Um, as long as he stays in, the league under that status if i were to cut him and then somebody were to redraft granky he would then have a free agent year attached to him he wouldn't become a non-free agent so i've got him but here's the difference um and here's here's the rub with that if you don't have all 2099 guys then if they're one of like um a, a free agent type of like reserve guy i guess we'll call them reserve guys if they're one of your reserve guys they count as a free agent in other words you can only keep three and so i can only i i can keep the two guys that are free agents molina and el tuve but grenke has to become one of those guys he has to become one of that reserve group now if i had four guys that were all 2099 i could keep all four but since I have a combination of reserve guys where one is a 2099 and two are free agents, I, ha I can only keep these three. I can't add another free agent type guy uh, to my roster. Now, uh, <clears throat> you're probably asking why are you keeping Molina when you know he's going to retire or did retire after this year or whatever. Well, because he's a good defensive catcher. And there really aren't any good hitting catchers, and they and if you can find a good hitting catcher, they cost a lot of money. Uh, well, a lot of not really money, but a lot of capital. I would have to trade a lot to get a catcher that could hit. And Rushman will be one of those. But as you saw before, I don't pick until uh, pick number seven, and I expect Rushman will be gone by then. So I have Molina at catcher. I have El Tuve at second. Greinke would be like right now my fourth starter. I've got Baum at third. I got Eloy Jimenez in left. Great hitter, but he's a left field five. So I'm going to have to maybe do something about that, get a better left fielder, maybe make Eloy the DH. Luis Castillo would be my second starter right now. Um, Johnny Cueto would be my third starter. Evan Longoria at third. He's going to be my defensive third baseman. I'll let Baum start the game, and then I will put in uh, Longoria later as a defensive replacement at third because he's a third base too. Uh, Kiner Falefa is my shortstop. 
Anthony Bass is uh, in my bullpen. Tyler Anderson right now would be my number one starter. That depends, though, um, with that first pick, whether I take a really great starting pitcher. That would knock him to number two and everybody else down one. Taylor Ward right now would be my right fielder. Michael A. Taylor's my center fielder, and he's a one, so that's good. J.D. Martinez right now would be the D.H., but if I get a better left fielder that's a good hitter to replace Jimenez in left field, then Jimenez would be the D.H., and Martinez would be on my bench, basically, because he can't play a position. So that's what kind of hurts with him. Presley is in my bullpen. Eric Hosmer would be my first baseman right now. Hopefully I can upgrade that in the draft because he's a four. Gavin Sheets um, is going to be a backup outfielder for me. Danny Mendick is a uh, backup infielder. Matt Manning will do some pitching. He, I think, pitched like 68 innings or something last year. So I can get 68 starter innings out of him, but that's going to be it. And then Joe Jimenez in my bullpen. So that's my 20 guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my 20 keepers. Um, I know there's people that are going to say you shouldn't have kept Molina. You probably could have kept somebody better than Molina. But I wanted to go into the draft knowing I had a guy that could play a full year at catcher who is also good defensively at catcher. Um, and I expect him to have a good arm, too. I expect him to have a negative two or negative three arm. But we know he's a catcher, too. So, you know, need a good defensive catcher back there. I want that. I've got a good defensive shortstop, kind of Falefa at short. Got a good uh, center fielder in Michael A. Taylor. He's a center field one. So if I can, uh, you know, get, and I've got a good backup third baseman, defensive replacement, Longoria. So try to get the defense as good as possible and upgrade that pitching. But let me know what you guys think of the 20 keepers. Um, it is a 20-team league, so the pitching is extremely important. It's more important than it would be in like a 30-team league. 30-team league, you can decide how you want to build your team. In a 20-team league, you really have to make sure you get good pitching. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up for the video. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.